In this video, I want to take a couple minutes and show you how to use the air conditioning simulator. Okay, now in our advanced air conditioning course, we are going to be using the simulator quite a lot, and you are going to have assignments on it. So the sooner you get in there, play around with it, the better off you're going to be. So the first thing you want to do is, first of all, if you have not already installed the remote desktop product from my prior video, you need to do that on your iPad or on your laptops. Okay, Windows comes with remote desktop preset up. I've given you the student information before. And Mac, you'll have to download from the App Store the remote desktop client. The icon looks like the greater and less than. And iOS, which is your iPads, you'll have to download the RD client software as well. It's free. So once you go into it at this point, you should already have your simulator product set up, okay? It's going to have a name in it like YK Simutech or ST Simutech. All depends on what, you're, what you were given. You're going to click on that and you're going to get connected to the remote PC, which is a Windows server, okay? But it allows us to use Windows software on your iPad. Okay, you're going to come in here. Okay, you're going to come over to Simuware. You're going to single click on it and then double click just to open it. Okay, single click, just make sure you're on the icon. Now, navigating this is simply as driving the mouse around. You see how I'm driving this mouse around? You could put your finger any place on the screen and drive that mouse around. The first thing you need to do is user log on. Okay, if you've already you logged in, you're going to get a um, you're going to find your username on there. If you haven't logged in yet, you still need to go add yourself as a new user, which you would do from over there. I gave you those directions in another video. OK, in this case, I'm going to come in here. I'm going to select my test user. OK, now when it comes time to enter a password, this is where it gets a little challenging. Click the keyboard from up at the top. OK, there's a little keyboard that will pull up your and then what you do is you just come in and enter your password. By the way, this account is not associated with anything, so um, helps if I oops. It helps if I remember the password. Once you're in and the little box goes away. Just click the little keyboard down there and you get rid of your keyboard. Now, the first thing we got to do is we got to totally learn how this runs in normal operations because it's most likely your instructor or me has blocked faults until you run it under normal operations. Okay, I'm doing this on the iPad so I very specifically show you that it runs. Okay, so first of all, a couple things down here at the bottom. Okay, I want you to look at the bottom menu where my mouse is. Okay, you have a power switch, fan switch, thermostat set point. You can change the indoor temp to make it hotter or cooler. Ambient temp is your outside temperatures around your condensers. And humidity, because remember, air conditioning changes with moves humidity as well. Up at the top, you have your gauges. You have temperature probes. You have a leak detector. You have a view devices, allows you to look at coils. We'll show you that in a minute. Has some charts and graphs. You have repair tools. You have legends that you can actually open up. You have a service, you have specifications for the equipment. Okay, you can close a contactor. You can lock temperatures. And we can turn sound on or off. And we can block coils. Over on the right side, you have the electrical schematic when you click on it, and then you can toggle back and forth from electrical. Okay, and then you have the exit to the main menu, and you actually have a help screen, okay, if you need it. Now, under normal operations, what you're just going to do is you're going to come down to the bottom. We want to turn that on. Okay, and then I would just go back and drag that screen back up to the top, okay? Now, when it's running, you can throw your gauges on, okay? And it will actually show you what your gauge pressures are. And if you double click on the, if you click on the gauges, it's going to turn it into the temperature. So it will take care of your TP chart right there. 
Okay, condensers on the left, evaporators on the right. We've connected our lines in to the uh, liquid side and the suction side. Those are our normal gauge connection points. You can also take a take your thermometer, okay, and you can put your thermometer on in different places in the system. So if I want to put a thermometer there, okay, you'll see the temperature probe. That's normally where I put my thermometer to get my subcooling. Okay, and I can then click on the thermometer and I could put my second thermometer over on, let's say, the suction line. That will get let me get my superheat. Okay, we're going to talk much more about superheat and subcooling, but suffice it to say, that's sort of important. From this screen, you can actually look at, let's say you want to look at, click on view device, I can view my condenser coil. If it looks like this, it's relatively clean. Okay, I can come over, I can view my evaporator coil as well. And again, it's clean. When it starts getting dirty, it will have stuff on the face of the coil. Okay, um, you can view my air filter. By the way, double clicking on that icon pulls up a list. You can see that the air filter is clean. Okay, now if I want to go into my um, electrical side, you also have up on the meet, top here, different meters and stuff. You have a voltmeter, you have an ohm meter, you have an amp clamp. Okay, so if I want to view what my meter is, okay, I click that, and then I can say, okay, what's my, I'll put one meter reading there, and one meter reading there. So across line and neutral, 230. Once you have the meter placed, you can double click on the meter. Okay, by the way, three fingers will let you drag things around. Okay, if you put your mouse on, mouse pointer on something, and three fingers on the iPad will let you drag it around. So once again, it, once you have the meter in place on your screen, you can select the different things you want to take readings of. Okay, and then just click OK. The points will move, and it will show you wherever you want to take the readings. Okay, just as a hint. Amp clamps can be used as well. You can position your amp clamp where you want it. Okay. But once you have it there, you can double click on it as well. Okay, and it will show you, it will pop up a little, you can click on the meter and it will pop up a little thing that lets you move that around. The amp clamp doesn't have too many options. There's an ohm meter here. Sorry, ohm meter is your center icon. But it will not let you use the ohm meter until you power everything off. So if I go back up there after powering it off, now I can use my ohm meter. And I can say, okay, I want to ohm out my compressor winding. And again, you can single click on that, on the meter itself. And you can find out the different places. And again, three screen, three fingers allows you to drag things around on the screen. Okay, so you can't you can't turn power back once you turn power back on. Actually, you can't turn power back on until you lose the ohm meter. Okay, it tells you remove the ohm meter before you turn power back on. Okay, so we just get rid of that. Okay, and it lets us remove that. Then we can turn the power back on. Now, when we first start using these, your instructor leaves the, um, by the way, two fingers will allow you to drag the screen around as well. Three fingers allow you to drag items around, pop-up boxes. Single finger drives the mouse. Okay, so when you first turn this on, and the first, you'll notice that your instructor actually shows the, allows the animations on the opening and closing relays. After, you, after you're after you using it a while, and probably for your final exam, your instructor is going to turn off the animations, okay? It's just the way it is, because you should be using your meters, okay? So again, just, just be aware that this is there, okay? And realize that there's a bunch of other people using it, so occasionally it gets slow. When you're ready to leave, do yourself a favor, return the main menu, Okay, and then file close. 
okay? And then come down here. Just don't exit the app because we want to make sure no one comes in as you. Okay, first of all, you have a choice of just disconnect. Don't bother trying to power it off. You can't do that. But go ahead and sign out. Okay, let's protect the service. Let's make sure it's available for you. So that is the air conditioning simulator. Hope that helped you.